So one thing that I think many people have been discussing after watching Avengers Infinity War is, of course, why didn't Thor, when he threw his new Stormbreaker hammer, aim for Thanos' head and just kill him right then and there? Which, of course, I think if you watched the movie and you had any questions, this was probably one of them. Certainly one I asked. I was like, wait a second. Why didn't he do that? It would have stopped him. He couldn't snap his fingers. That, that would have been over, right? Game over, man. Well, as it turns out, the Russo brothers have actually come up with an answer for that, and it will be addressed much later. But essentially what they say is, and I quote, I would argue that the fanbase could be equally upset with Thor, who chose to throw an axe into the chest of Thanos and not his head, because he wanted to tell Thanos that he got his revenge. Had he gone for the kill shot, the snap would not have happened. These are the choices that the characters are feeling immense pain, making and hopefully the audience can learn to empathize with those characters, because they can grow through the stories. Stories can teach us things that we should try to see every choice from the perspective of the character that made the choice. So essentially what he's saying right there is, look, the reason he did it is because, well, one, we had to have the snap, but two, Thor, with his reasoning, wanted to face Thanos face to face again and kind of gloat to him that he was able to beat him after what happened at the beginning of the movie. So kind of, you know, it's a full circle from beginning to end, which I honestly like and I agree with that. And then what he adds also about the character having to learn from their mistake. So Thor is clearly going to feel some regret for not taking that shot in the next movie because had he took it, half of the population in the universe wouldn't be wiped out. So now that lays on Thor because he's the only one that could deliver that big kill shot. And that's honestly, I think, very powerful. And hopefully they explore this because I think Thor being the way he is and almost losing everything, and you see that moment where he's crying and everything, that was a very powerful moment for him. And now knowing that he could have stopped even more and failed to, that shows you that the character has failed once again and can only become stronger from that point.